Hi, this is Mike Callahan. I've been using Ionic for mobile application development since 2014, before it was even officially released. Since then, Ionic has been my go-to technology for building mobile apps. With the release of version 4 in 2019, Ionic grew beyond its humble origins as an Angular-based framework for making mobile apps. Today, Ionic works with a variety of web technologies and has become a first-class citizen for building all manner of web applications. In this course, we're going to focus on React, going from zero code all the way to the app and play stores. Throughout this course, we're going to cover the important aspects of development with Ionic and React. This lesson will cover the absolute basics, setting up your development environment to be as effective as possible. We'll end with a simple Hello Ionic application. We'll jump right into the application structure, explaining how an Ionic application is laid out. We'll introduce some of the simpler UI components and create a basic side menu for the demo application. The next lesson is all about application storage. Ionic provides a simple storage mechanism that works across web browsers and devices. We'll use this to maintain persistent application data that will survive device restarts. If you don't need specific hardware capabilities other than the ones available through the web browser, you can choose to release your application as a progressive web app, or PWA. While the web is getting more and more capable every day, some functions still require access to the underlying device your app is running on. This lesson will be an introduction to device integration with Capacitor. In the final lesson, we'll bundle the application to be released to the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. I'm going to make some assumptions about some things you should already be familiar with. I expect you to know how to write programs in at least a single programming language. You should understand at least the basics of web page layout with HTML. If you know what a div is or how to create an HTML button, you should be just fine. We will make heavy use of JavaScript and TypeScript, and it will help if you have at least beginner level knowledge. You're also going to want a text editor or integrated development environment. I use and recommend Visual Studio Code. VS Code is a free and open source and cross-platform development environment from Microsoft designed from the ground up to work with all of the technologies we'll be using. Of course, you're free to use whatever tool you're comfortable with. One more thing I should make clear. This is not a course on React. While I will point out basic aspects of React as they pertain to Ionic, I won't go any deeper than I have to to make the demo application work. Up next, we'll install the tools needed for you to complete the demo application. I'm providing instructions for macOS. At this time, I'm running Catalina, but the process should be identical on any recent version of macOS. Windows 10, these instructions should also work if you're on Windows Server or even Windows 7 or 8. And finally, Ubuntu Linux, but you should be able to follow along with any Linux distribution. Don't feel that you need to watch all three lessons. Pick the one closest to your system and watch that one.